Right, just one time for one last game in this Chess 960 arena. I'm on 1994, that's my Chess 960 rating. I've played 970 games in this now, that's a lot of games. Right, 1941, good luck. You see, my opponent is the 2200 level Blitz player, so very strong at our level. I'm just going to shift the knight. We can castle anywhere kingside because they're right next to each other. Is it worth jumping again? I don't think so. I'm going to play a gambit, but I don't know why, just for something different. And it is probably a bad gambit he doesn't take. Oh, okay, let's push the pawn. I'm probably just going to castle and stir this side. I can't gamble there, can I? No, I'm going to just castle. Castle him potentially into an attack. See if he gives up his bishop. Okay, so I can go here and he can block. Do I do something really stupid though? I'm going to do this. I mean, he can block either way, but I'm doing it anyway. It's whether I do something stupid like this. It probably is a bit stupid, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to take the knight and develop. It's a very stale type of position already, this, isn't it? Maybe pawn, but I have to release my bishop. He's going for an attack, though. So I'm going to do this and this and this. So knight up creates a double threat. So he sidesteps, so up, take... Hmm. Let's push and push. Just try and push. I'm going to push anywhere. Okay. I'm going to see if he gives up his bishop here. If he goes with a pawn, I'm pushing and I'm going to try and create something again. It might be bad, it might not lead to a thing. Let's bring the Queen of Brook across. Maybe I need to go here actually because of this, I don't know. I don't think I've got anything, but you've got to try. But Rook here threatens to push again, but how do you get to the King? I don't see. The Knight guards the Bishop, the Queen guards the Bishop. If I do this, I'm under a lot of pressure anyway. Maybe I just grab the pawn. It's a pawn's a pawn, but yeah, I'm a couple of pawns down, aren't they? Five against seven. But it takes a bit out of the attack. So he chooses to defend it. So now I thought rook across is kind of logical because he's got this anywhere. He's got knight across. And then where do I go? Maybe fold. He just chooses to push. So now my bishop is completely dead. So why did I do that? I'm going to take. I think I won't get another chance. If he takes, I'll just have to take an pack and come back. Okay, I'm going to take. Come back. If he does this, I have to do this, I think. He hits my queen, so do I have to bail out? I don't have anything here, do I? So I'm going to try and get the queen off the board. Queen is pinned, so he can't really avoid it, but he could make another move and let me take. Okay, so we hit the knight, he comes forward, there's pressure. Let's hit the knight. Check is covered, he hits the pawn, logical. I'm going to go after his pawn then. Hmm... I have to try and release my bishop. Let's hit the pawn. Let's just hit the pawn. Oh, now I can come here, maybe, and prepare to sack. Come down. Threaten to take. Um, 
Mm, I can get a Turk here. He has to go back or he's noted. Um, threaten check note. So he has to defend. How do I force it? I don't think I can. I'm going to push the pawn. I'm just going to go after the pawn here. Oh, he's blundered. Okay, blundered. I'm very lucky there. 